Hello people, I'm Data from JGX and now we are reviewing the Clan Platinum Pack. Uh, same stuff that I said for the Inner Sphere one, these are not new mechs, they are just new skins for existing mechs that you can already buy in the Mac Club. Uh, it's just that these ones have a specific camo, unique camo, and the hero boost. Uh, quick summary, are these good mechs? The Mad Cat Mark II B is a good Mac. The Nova Cat B is a good Mac. Uh, the Arctic Wolf is decent, and the Cougar is decent as well. I'd say that the weakest one in here is maybe the Arctic Wolf. Uh, we'll start for the Mad Cat Mark II B. Uh, it recently received a good HSL work for the Ultra 20. Uh, to B. So, of course, you can go with the good old default build, two Ultra 10s and two Ultra 5s. Uh, is it going to perform well? Yes, it is going to perform very well. It can work. But you can also try something different. Uh, you can exploit the HSL, the Ultra 20s, like this. Two Ultra 20s, two Heavy Larges, and a lot of heat sinks. Uh, if you want to remove some ammunition and go short on ammunition, you can replace the heavy largest with the large pulses, but it can kind of work, but you're running dry. Just don't uh, remove heat sinks. You need heat sinks. You need them because the build is very hot. Um, also, don't downgrade the engine because in today, Quick play meta speed is life, and uh, one of the main downgrade of uh, the assaults is that some assaults are just too slow to be part of the current meta. So if you can go fast, don't go slow on purpose. So this is one build that you can do with the two ultra twenties and uh, two uh, large pulses or heavy large. Of course, you can go with the, the very basic default one, two Ultra 5s and two Ultra 10s, then you can try to squeeze in a 350, some heat sinks, one, two, three, four, five are going to be enough, the rest is ammunition. Another interesting build is uh, four Ultra 5s and uh, a PPC, I think this is better than uh, the two Ultra 5 and two Ultra 10 because the Ultra 5s jump less when they jump, they end jump faster. This has more range. The Alpha is kind of the same because of the PPC, but it has a lot more heat sinks to dissipate faster the heat. And I'd say that the Ultra 5, uh, the Ultra 5s are very close to the Ultra 10s in terms of performance. So between, like two of these Ultra 5s are the same, between two Ultra 10s and two Ultra 5s and a PPC with a shitload of heat sinks to actually dissipate this heat, I think this one is better. So I would go as main build on the Medic Mark to be four Ultra 5s, a PPC, shitload of heat sinks. Then you can give a try to the two heavy large and two, um, Ultra 20 for the Giga Alpha build. Then we have the Lurming Nova Cat. It's just a Lurming Nova Cat with a tag. Uh, of course, you don't shoot 3 and 3 because you ghost. You shoot 2, 2 and 2. Or you chain fire them. A tag, high mounted. It's pretty high mounted. And uh, don't forget the heat sinks. Otherwise, you'll just overheat. And that's it. As for the Arctic Wolf, I already did a review, I think yesterday or two days ago, on the Arctic Wolves, so just go watch that. It's pretty decent with ECM, SRMs, and medium pulses. Go watch the Arctic Wolf video. And as for the Cougar, uh, the Cougar, uh, if you try to exploit the set of eight, it's not that good because the, the Ultra 20 is low mounted, it has excellent quirks for. The Ultra 20, it can jump. Uh, it's very... 
it's, it's actually good if you know how to use it because it's a jump jet pop tart with ECM and Ultra 20 and a lot of quirks on it. So it's like a medium pulse roll when you get at 300 meters, 400 meters, and you pop tart with it. But it's very difficult. Uh, the other way around is that you just get rid of this stuff. You put the high mounted energy torsos like this and like this. Uh, as for the arms, you look for arms with uh, energy quirks like energy range, left arm, you look for quirks with uh, laser or energy quirks. And then you go just two PPCs plus extra heat sinks or two large poles plus extra heat sinks or you put two heavy large you put the right arm where is it with three energies or four for one hand it won't handle four and you put medium lasers like this and extra heat sinks uh, and it turns into a mini hellbringer because it has ECM. The whole advantage of this kind of stuff is having ECM and high mounts. You see, the mounts are very high, it has ECM, it's a vertical figure. So I'm not going to show you this because this is pretty obvious how it is going to perform in terms of uh, shooting PPCs. I'll just start from the medcat and go from the stuff that you don't know how they do. Uh, starting from this one and going on on the other ones. Target. Not going to show you the other ones because the, the Novocat is an obvious learner. The Arctic Wolves, uh, I already made a video on them, and the Cougar is just a PPC pop tart with uh, with ECM. I could show you how the Ultra 21 goes, it would be pretty interesting. 
to see it, maybe. We could just show it briefly. But I think you should go for the, the PPC high-mounted one. Video is over. That's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So smash the like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.